moment of glory! Pedrosa! Stop! Ah! You're turning into your own enemy. Yes, I've got a point, you know, Brad. Act to prove to me you're not as a heartless killer, then I'll follow you all the way. Pedrosa! Right, Blazk. Let's put an end to this once and for all. I agree with you, but who said it was two on two? I'm right here. Jade? You guys were close for beating me this time. <laughs> Now that one's down, we're just one step closer to destroying the super loons. Can we go now, please? Rudolph is waiting. Come on, man, she's made her choice. No, she wouldn't have just gone back to him willingly. Calm down. We oh, can calm down. Again. I should calm down. So you'll have to bring her turn to the hall. Let's do it. Wait. Greetings, super ladies. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, bites. Why did you feel the need to crash that flat? I mean, the door wasn't even locked. You didn't even need to kick it in. What's with you going all commando for no reason? We didn't have time to arrange a proper meetup. Plus, your icy flatmate was close to killing you, etc. Firstly, no, Petrosa would not kill me. I duffed the dog before he even tried, using Griffin as a shield, of, naturally. Secondly, don't I? How's that trash you call weapons going? Well, you know what my answer would be. How would you scare to a field test? Oh, is that how you're gonna play it? You're on a very thin line, my friend. Very thin line to having that stupid hat of yours torched. Wouldn't like that, huh? On time, Octard. Well, Winsia, you know, you're the last woman I ever want to see right now. I see you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Don't you start. Is that why you messaged me this morning? To torment me for no reason? No. <sighs> To inform me of why Petrosa's leaving. What do you mean? Everything you need to know is on there.
Jim, Oliver. I know nothing I could say will redeem myself from yesterday. But I put my hands up and say that I was totally in the wrong. And I had no right to go after Quinn and risk killing myself. I normally say that Quinn was luring me into his trap when really I shouldn't have given in to my temptation of my retribution. But I know for certain that he was behind Scarlet's death. I'm prepared to face the consequences of my actions as Agent Banks has informed me that I have to depart the Isle of Wight. Possibly the UK to avoid the feds as they're gonna consider me a dangerous superpower being. So you two take care of yourselves and please find out what's happened to Jade. I got your back forever. Ice Ray. At least he'll be safe. And don't worry, he won't be alone. He's asked me to join him on his journey. <laughs> Punished doesn't mean you have to punish me. Anna, is this place you're going to deliver a secret message? I didn't mean to ask you to in the fucking first place! You're welcome, by the way. Just bugger off, you nutter. What did you say? I was reminding myself to get some butter from the store. Thank you very much. Next time, mon ami? I won't miss. Good. Neither will I. Boys, I think we'll call it a day, lads. You go that way, you go this way. And we'll rendezvous here tomorrow to discuss the Swanwick operation. Oh, and Jim, don't forget to bring Griffin tomorrow. Roger that. I heard that. Roger. I'm surrounded by idiots. Yeah. Bonjour. Sorry about that, Griffin. We needed a private session with Jim, but we're done now. Are you still at the safe house? Don't play good cop with me. When were you going to tell us you guys sent Petrozo away? <sighs> That's something I'd rather let Griselda Banks explain. Yeah, well, she better have a good reason, because right now I don't feel like being nice. Trust me. We have our reasons. Although bear in mind she might have a private exchange with Jim over the phone. So don't take it personally if uh, Jim's on the phone when, you, when he arrives back at the safe house. <coughs> yeah, tell me about it. Jim literally spent the last month texting and sexting with her. I mean, he wouldn't stop going on about your colleague or your boss or whoever. Anyways, I'll just let you crack on with your secret job. Oh, that reminds me. I might have a secret job for you and Jim tomorrow. What job? Roger. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here in one piece. Uh, no, I don't think I've been followed. When will you guys be here again? Yeah, I better get paid for this for me, because if you think I'm gonna be paid for standing around like a fucking lunatic, 
you got something coming. Fair point. Roger, why are we even doing this again? I never wanted this shit happening, but... Right, you guys ready? Well, I don't know what for, but all right, I'm ready. Good to hear, because what I'm about to ask from you guys could be very well daunting. I already told you last night, Griffin, you know why I had to send Trojo away. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just... For the past two months, after everything that happened, what with patrols and that, and at Battery Gardens, I thought that would be the end of all that shit. Well, don't worry. You're safe as us for now. Right. The reason we raided you yesterday is because we needed your help. Why am I not surprised? Or do I have a hunch that this could be the slightest bit life-threatening? Might very well be. Roger, the wanted poster. I forgot to download it before we left. <laughs> nice going, Delanoy. Did you forget to put your brain under that hat of yours? Jim, do you want me to hit you again? You won't hit a guy with glasses. <laughs> Oh, why would you hit a guy with glasses? You're not wearing glasses! Sure I do, just not on my face. Have you seen my testicle spectacles? Oh, I'm surrounded by idiots! The guy we're after is Rudolf Swanwick. Former leader of France's most wanted bandits, Rudolf Spad. He was imprisoned a year ago for bombing of the capital. Until three months ago, he escaped. Oh, well, how did he escape? Did he dig his way out or something? He just disappeared, into thin air, right in front of the cameras. Uh, oh, let me guess! He's got powers and all, hasn't he? I'm afraid not. There's a clear, but there's a clear explanation to it. That two years ago, during the meteor strike that gave you guys your powers, he became best friends with Matthew Howard, who you guys know as Blaisk. So who did Skull? Or as me and Griffin know him as the Prick. Amen to that. Yep, it's clearly obvious that Howard used his invisibility to help out his buddy. Oh yeah, I think uh, Skullface mentioned him when he was leaving with his troops. So it's the moment Rudolph teams up with Blaisk, as well as Quake and Electra? And judging from Swanwick's passion for terrorism, we assume he's up to something big. Ah, so you want us to take on Electra, Quake and what's his name, so you can re-arrest Swanwick and drag him back to France? Even though we'll probably get disintegrated before we even get a chance. 
Well, before you do so, I think it might be wise for you to build up your efforts. Uh, how the hell are we supposed to do that? By helping us recruit these guys. <clears throat> I believe with their help we can take on Swanwick and his team. I know the girl in the second photo, Maria Anderson, or Flamely as she likes to call herself. She has the ability to summon these meteorites through these orange symbols. Oh, and she is having an ongoing brawl with Electra. Um, they're quite the feisty duo. And for that guy with the thingies coming out of his hands, um, I met him once, and from what I've heard, he's quite gnarly with his thingies. Well, the more gnarly our forces are, the better chance we have of defeating all our enemies. So, you guys ready? Yeah! No. Yeah, yeah, um... If Cresselda and I try and find this gnarly lad with the magical powers, well, Jim, if you stay with Roger and you get in touch with Maria and tell her to meet up with you guys... Yeah, that'll be a good start, wouldn't it? You! Want me to go with the frog? Are you out of your mind? What did you just call me? Frog! F! R! O! I agree with Bright Eyes, it'll be a great start. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that little scenario. But anyways, look, this is exciting, isn't it? Like, we're finally gonna get back at that son of a bitch and his troops. I mean... It'll be so, it'll finally be good to do something good for once. <laughs> yeah! What the hell were you doing, Griffin? You missed! What? It's important you learn to battle an unseen opponent. Help it. You stink. <laughs> Why do you even bother shielding yourself? Do as I please. Why are you looking so gloomy, anyways? I thought you already achieved your plans. Only to get back at the Super Loonies. Yes. No idea what's going to be part of this deal. Matthew, Quake. Yes, matey. I'd like to inform you guys that the French fertility are thinking about upping their game, trying to catch me. So I expect you two to be on high alert. And quick. A word. When I recruited you, I expected you to be a little bit more... ...brutal. When I made that deal with Matthew, I didn't expect this to be part of the deal. And I thought that it was your intention to kill 
the super loonies. I never said anything about killing. Not like that. You say that even after you knocked down that college building years ago. Hey! That was an accident! That's when I just got these powers. I've spent a lot of nights wishing I could take it all back. Well, all of that shit is in the past. And you, you must focus on the present. Don't you want to get back at the Super Loonies? Then if I were you, I would focus on defending myself. Even if it means killing someone. Because these guys are more than likely going to recruit that fat team. And when these guys come for me, they're not planning on taking me alive or anyone assisting me. A the crystal? Where's Jade, by the way? She went down for a stroll. I told her I would give her a session later. A taste of my work. Hello? Yeah, this is she. What do you want, Roger? What job? <laughs> 